Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a bit of time since I uploaded last, but unfortunately I had to put the channel on hold. Um, so I will be doing the indoor gardening again, but I wanted to bring you up to date on some of the plants you would have seen previously, which are my citrus. So if you remember from a previous video, I thought it would be the coolest thing if I could grow a lemon tree from a seed that I got from a grocery store lemon, which is a plant that you see on the left and on the right is the mandarin orange plant. So as you can see from what they look like previously, they're actually doing really, really well. Unfortunately, I ended up learning that if you're going to grow citrus from seeds, they likely won't fruit. Uh, so I did go out and purchase a few citrus plants, which unfortunately you can see on the left, uh, those two are not doing quite as well as I would hope they would be doing. Um, so I really want to focus on citrus leaf drop today. So if you're growing any type of citrus in Canada, you know you're going to have to bring them in over the winter. And one of the common things that people struggle with is leaf drop. Now, I could not figure out what was going on here because typically what people usually say is it's from shock from bringing them inside, which I babied them, I moved them around um, before I brought them in out of direct sun. And out of the almost 20 citrus plants that I have and other tropicals, these were the only two plants that I had an issue with and they're both lemons. So I knew it had to be something specific to the lemon plant. Um, now, if you take a look at the one in the middle, uh, it's obviously doing uh, not well. It's dropped most of its leaves. That's a pink lemon tree. The one on the left is a Meyer lemon. And the one on the far right is a key lime, which you can see is doing very well. So let's take a close, closer look at these two plants. Um, and we'll start with the pink lemon. So the one that, that is looking the most rough. So what ended up happening with this plant is um, it just kind of slowly started dying once I brought it home from the nursery. So um, the leaves on it, at least that are left, are looking uh, very healthy. They're lush, they're soft to the touch, they feel very hearty. But all the other leaves on this tree ended up just slowly dying and I couldn't figure out why. So basically what ended up happening, and you might be going through the same thing, is the leaves just kind of started drying out. Uh, they, they would curl and then they would just fall off. And even some of the leaves that weren't dried out would just fall off. Like the plant just wouldn't hold on to them. And I could not figure out what was going on because I really believed that I was watering it correctly, fertilizing it correctly, and just nothing would solve it. And then for this one, as you can see, it has dropped about half its leaves. And the leaves that are left aren't looking the greatest. Some of them are a little bit more hardy. They're darker, but you can see almost most of them or almost all of them are very a uh, light green in color so initially I thought okay this has to be a nitrogen deficiency because if you look at the lime tree it's very dark and lush and this is nowhere close to that that being said I don't think these leaves get as dark anyways um, but even fixing up the fertilizer uh, it just didn't help and all through the entire summer season even though I was fertilizing it regularly watering it pruning it it just would not grow so I kind of knew something was wrong but I didn't know what the issue was I could not figure it out and I kept on getting a lot of conflicting opinions or information as to what the the problem was so I did take pictures brought it to the nursery and they told me it was likely transplant shock and that you really shouldn't be repotting your citrus plants for at least a year. Um, other people said it looked like uh, the leaves were drying out because of too much sun or that maybe I was overwatering it, underwatering it. Maybe it had to do with bringing it indoors. But since all of my other plants did so well, I just thought, you know, it can't be from bringing it indoors. It can't be, be transplant shock. Like what's going on? So I started with the one in the middle, the pink lemon, because I love that plant so much. Um, and I took it out of the pot and ended up realizing that it was suffering from root rot. And that was the issue. And you know you have root rot because when you take the plant out of the soil, all of the roots basically just kind of fall off. You know, when the soil pulls away, the roots are very mushy. They have zero strength to them. You basically touch them and they almost like disintegrate in your hand. 
And what I was left with was a very, very small root ball that was still healthy, very small. Like I will be shocked if this plant makes it, but I'm trying really hard. It looks like it's trying to hold on because it does still have those leaves. Um, but what I would suggest is if you're struggling with leaf drop, whether the plant leaves are healthy looking or they're dried out, or your plant isn't growing at all, then there's a good chance that the issue uh, can be discovered by looking at the roots of the plant. So when you pull the plant out, this is what I did. Um, I rinsed off all of the dirt that was on the roots to make sure that if there was any type of fungus or anything funky going on there from being in uh, obviously staining water that I didn't realize, it'd be washed away. Uh, I repotted them in a very well draining soil. And with the roots, if there were any roots that were dead, I made sure they were removed. If there were roots that were partially alive and partially dead, I clipped off the dead portion before I put it back into the pot. And I made sure that I potted them in something much smaller to accommodate a much smaller root ball. Because if you take a look at these pots here, they're probably about maybe six inches, I think. Whereas the original pot that they were in was that larger pot that I have the lime tree in, which I think maybe was about 18 or 20 inches. So way too big. And what I ended up learning is that really citrus plants, I think, do well in smaller pots versus these larger pots here. Um, the roots are very fine. They're higher to the surface. Um, they're just not as, like, the roots aren't as hardy as some of the other plants that you might grow. I don't know if that's the best way of describing it. Uh, but nonetheless, they don't need as much space. And I think they actually like being a little bit tighter together. And it'll make your life a lot easier to ensure that you're not overwatering it. Because I always made sure that the surface area dried first, like I do with all my plants. And still, the roots uh, were absolutely rotted. And Lemon trees in particular are very, very susceptible to root rot. If you own a citrus plant, you know they're very finicky. Lemons in particular, they don't want to fully dry out, but you can't leave them wet for too long. And you always want to make sure that um, you are watering them, but they're not ever really uh, too dry, you know? So it's kind of like you really can't win. So when you do plant these, uh, plant them in smaller pots and maybe what you would typically plant them in. Try and stick with terracotta because it is more uh, porous. So the soil will dry out faster, which means you might have to water it more frequently but there's less of a chance of root rot. And just make sure whatever soil you use is very, very well draining. If you can, like this is something that you can add to your soil to make it a little bit uh, better draining. Now, I didn't use this brand when I repotted those, so I really can't speak for this, whether or not it's good. I just, I picked it up because it was on sale and I know I'm gonna be repotting a few other items. Um, but uh, hopefully you find that helpful. Root rot and leaf drop in citrus is so frustrating when you can't figure out what's wrong and you feel like you kind of exhausted all your options. If you have any questions about that or if you do own citrus plants and you want to add anything else, please let everyone know in the comments below because I would love to learn from you as well. Uh, and if you are interested in sticking around and seeing some upcoming videos, we will be getting back into the indoor gardening series again. So I will be growing um, vegetables indoors along with uh, some of the fruits. Uh, but if you are uh, interested in seeing anything in particular grown, please let me know because I'm definitely up for some suggestions because I just started my seedlings this week. So I'm definitely flexible as to what I can plant. Um, so hopefully you find that helpful. Uh, thanks for sticking around, watching the video, and I will see you guys next time.